أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another lesson in perfecting our recitation of the Holy Quran. And last time we discussed the makharij uh, of uh, four letters, uh, two groups. So we discussed ha and ha and sad and sin. Uh, that was the theory part. Now today we'll be discussing the practical part. As we said previously that uh, it's easy to know the theoretical part, but when it comes to actually implementing it when reciting Quran, that's where things get a bit uh, difficult. So we'll go through practicing uh, what we learned the other time. Uh, and uh, inshallah, we can perfect this maharaj. So, as we said, we, uh, we went through ha, ha, sad, and sin. We discussed with the ha and the ha that they are they come from the throat. They are called throat letters, and we said ha, the heavy ha, uh, the, is the like the normal English version of h, which comes from the bottom part of the throat. It's normal; you don't have to do anything fancy with it. Just ha. Whereas the other ha, this one, comes from the middle part of the throat. And we said that we capture the air in the middle part of the throat and we say ha. Now, with sod and sin, we said that they're both, so the sin is like the letter S, nice and simple S. And then we also went on to say that. The fact that seen has teeth shows that we should recite it with a smile, showing our teeth. S. Whereas sod, sod is more uh, with a rounder mouth because it has a rounder element to it. So we pronounce it with a rounder mouth. So, as if we're whistling. So. Now, a, a good way to practice these uh, letters is by just adding alif with a fatha before it and having a sukun on the letter. This will enable us to actually pronounce the letter that we want. So, for example, if we want to practice ha, we say ah, ah. If we want to pronounce ha and practice it, again, we add alif, fatha, and we pronounce it as ah. Uh, same for seen. If we want to practice seen, we add an alif fatha before it and we pronounce it as s. S. And the same for sod. S. S. Now, just like before doing anything, for example, if we're going to play sports, before sports, we warm up. We, we stretch our muscles, we jog a bit. This practice is our warm-up before, before we recite. So that we can recite it perfectly. We will practice these, and I want us to practice these um, three times, each of the letters three times before we actually recite. So, uh, before I recite tonight or tomorrow, I want I want to practice and warm up uh, my letters three times. So I will say ah ah ah, and the same for ah ah ah, and then the same for seen s s s, and then the same for sod os os os. So now once we've warmed up. Then we can go into reciting and hopefully be able to recite the letters perfectly. Now remember the magic formula where we listen actively. We picked our recital already from before. We listen the uh, we we listen to the uh, the, the reciter recite the the uh, passage, 
And then the second part is we listen to him bite-sized and recite, uh, uh, repeat after him. And then third is we recite alone. So we're going to do that with this passage that we've chosen. I'll go through the, the Maharaj a bit and, uh, and then we can uh, perfect this passage. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صبغة الله ومن أحسن من الله صبغة ونحن له عابدون قل أتحاجوننا في الله وهو ربنا وربكم ولنا أعمالنا ولكم أعمالكم ونحن له مخلصون أم تقولون إن إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأسباط كانوا هودا أو نصارا قل أأنتم أعلم أم الله ومن أظلم ممن كتم شهادة عنده من الله وما الله بغافل عما تعملون. Now, the second part of the magic formula where I'll be reciting small bite sized and you repeat after me. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم صبغة الله. Note how this sod is with a round, so I'm pronouncing with a round mouth, even though it's a kasra. Sibrat Allah. Woman ahsanu min Allah sibrah. Notice this scene is with teeth, so I'm showing my teeth. Ahsanu. And then this sod is round, so sibrah. Woman ahsanu min Allah sibrah. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ عَابِدُونَ Notice the difference. So this is the ha that I'm capturing from the middle part of my throat. نَحْنُ ha. And then this is the normal ha which is like the English H. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ عَابِدُونَ قُلْ أَتُحَاجُّونَنَا فِي اللَّهِ وَهُوَ رَبُّنَا وَرَبُّكُمْ وَلَنَا أَعْمَالُنَا وَلَكُمْ أَعْمَالُكُمْ وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُخْلِصُونَ yes, And we carry on. أَمْ تَقُولُونَ إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَالْأَسْبَاطَ كَانُوا هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا قُلْ أَأَنْتُمْ أَعْلَمُ أَمِ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ كَتَمَ شَهَادَةً عِنْدَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا تَعَمَلُونَ Ahsant, that was nicely done. Now, remember, I'm going to leave you to recite the, third, uh, the passage for the third time on your own. Uh, remember uh, to implement what we've learned previously. So the short vowels, 
the long vowels and the makharij now of sad and seen and ha and ha and uh, try and record it as well and send me uh, this your submissions of the previous two as well uh, as well as this uh, lesson and uh, inshallah the the winner of the competition will be revealed soon so send it to education at hujjah.org i look forward to uh, listening to your recitation wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh